The next great resource that you really are going to want to take advantage of as a user of Maxwell Render is the forum. And I don't know if you've ever been on a forum before or if you like forums or you dislike forums. It isn't for everybody, I know. However, if you're not on the forum, you're missing out big time because not only are a lot of very knowledgeable users very free with their information on the forum, but most of the people who work for Next Limit on Maxwell actually hang out on the forum and answer questions. So if you have a question, the forum is probably the place to be. And there's something that you need to know about the forum. First off, you know, when you get there to the page and you're like, oh, okay, I'm at the forum. It's good. It's maxwellrender.com forum. That's all you need to know. Everything looks good. You look like you've got something to see. You go to click on one of these guys. Uh, let's click on Maxwell Render 2. You don't see anything. Well, why don't you see anything? Well, because in order to be able to see anything in any of these forums, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and either register or log in if you haven't logged in, if you already are registered. However, you're not automatically registered if you purchase a Maxwell. You have to register and then you have to submit. You have to go through the submitting process where you actually submit to them what it is that you're going to be doing. So, for instance, I'll just click over here on this and we'll just go ahead and log in real quick. So here we go. I'm logged in. And you see the very first post here at the top of the Maxwell Render version 2, once you've created a username and you've logged in, is this help I can't post. And what does that mean? Well, it basically means that everyone's locked out until you actually are a member of the VIP user group. And how you go about getting onto that VIP user group is first things first, you have to purchase Maxwell. If you haven't purchased Maxwell, then you're not a VIP. If you're just using a demo version, then you're not going to be able to post on the forum. You can read the forums and you can learn off the forums, which is exactly what I did for a very long time before I purchased. However, if you want to post, then you need to purchase Maxwell. That's one of the rules, and it kind of weeds out the people who might be spammers or whatever, which is a nice thing, in, in my opinion. So we're going to go over to User Control Panel. And you go to User Control Panel, and you click on User Groups. And then you're just going to go to VIPs and Subscribe. So right here, User Control Panel, you're going to click on that. And then once we're in there, you're going to go over to user groups. There we go. So you would just click on VIPs and say join selected. That is the forum. Neither of these next ones we're going to look at are Maxwell type websites. However, they are kind of going hand in hand with what we get at the forum, which is a lot of technical information that you won't necessarily find in the manuals or even necessarily in these videos because there's only so much I can cover. However, this requires that you do a little bit of work on your own. Now, there's two websites here. There's refractiveindex.info, and then there's luxpop.com. Now, both of these are basically the same type of thing. And what they do is they give you refractive index information for anything that you might want that's already been measured by scientists and labs is what it boils down to. It's very, very technical stuff. However, some of it is necessary information if you're looking to recreate a very particular type of thing in Maxwell. So let's say, for instance, that oh, I'm going to go to metals. So I'm in metals. And let's say I want to do aluminum. Now, the most important thing you need to know about this is that Whenever you're working for Maxwell and you're wanting to get the index of refraction, which is denoted as ND, and we'll get more into that later on, you're always going to want it to be a 589. All right, that's what we want. So 589, that's nanometers, which is the wavelength of light that is what we're going to be using here. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to give us the measurement. So notice here, now it says 589. The index of refraction is 1.2. And it also gives us some other information on some comma separated, tab separated. We have some extinction coefficient information and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of information here 
that comes up for aluminum just by simply selecting aluminum and choosing the appropriate wavelength, which is always 589. You can see here we have a lot of different metals, some alloys. We have crystals, liquid gases, glasses, plastics, so on and so forth. There's a lot of information on this particular website, refractiveindex.info. The other one here is LuxPop. And LuxPop is a little bit more intimidating, I think, for the average person. And the reason why is because it's very, very physics-oriented. The whole website is incredibly physics-oriented, and it's, it's one of those things where it may be a bit much for the average person. So what I would say is if you're going to go ahead and go to LuxPop, just focus on this one section right here, which is index refraction, because that's what's important here. And again, we want to measure 589. So 589. For this one, let's say I want to choose PMMA. Okay, well, PMMA is acrylic, is basically what it boils down to. I can even select the temperature here, which doesn't matter so much, but it is important to note that this is in Celsius, not Fahrenheit. And if I hit go, it'll come up with the information that I'm looking for. So it's giving me the index of refraction is 1.49 and the extinction coefficient is zero. It's also giving us some information about the attenuation constant, which is not so important for Maxwell in this particular situation. Now, if you're a real real hardcore physics or math person. There's a lot of interesting stuff in here. Some different ways of crunching numbers that you can get from different scientific papers to make them Maxwell usable. And what I would say is, is I'm not nearly educated in that area of math and science to be able to make much use of any of this stuff. My general rule of thumb is pick it from a drop down list, type in 589, click go but you can make it as complicated as you want. And of course, the other big thing that's going to be a big help to you always is Wikipedia. So let's say you want to know more about the ABBA number. Okay, let's just say we're going to come up against that. Well, there we go. So Wikipedia. Wikipedia never fails. They always have great information. They've got charts and diagrams. They've got all kinds of good stuff, you know, some different tables that give you the information, lots of see alsos. So truly, 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 if you're having some difficulty and you want to do some research to figure out what's going on, doing a simple Google search and, and going to whatever Wikipedia shows up is going to set you on the right path. So I would highly recommend that you be a little proactive in that regard. So the forum is a great beginning. However, we can go well beyond what the forum can give us with just a little footwork on our own. And those three sites are a great start.